They never tell you how hard it really is. How? They never tell you a lot. They talk about a writer's love of the words and how the words just come, as if delivered by magical muses just waiting in the wings to be tapped. They talk about the driving need to create one perfect piece, that perfect collection of words and phrases that simply sing off of the page. Seems like something of a ripoff in retrospect. Perhaps just a tool to make the writer's life harder. A fucking fairy tale. A carrot to dangle in front of us. Make us long for those truest words. The purity of the perfect peace, more desirable than any fleshy temptation to a writer. Sure could use some of that magic now. I guess I always bought into that idea that the words just come. <laughs> Hell, never had any luck myself trying to force them, so it just kind of made sense. But what happens when you really need them, and they just aren't there? What happens when the words you long for are those of mythic whispers that will not be bested as time lays her tarnishing grips upon them, and yet no muse will deliver them to you? Are we to take this as a sign? Some sort of message from the great muse who refuses to deliver to us our perfection? Is it just not meant to be? Should we simply scrap the idea and let it go? Move on? <laughs> Though perhaps if it were that easy to move on, I wouldn't be sitting here now facing this deadline. Who the fuck are you kidding, Poe? You don't believe in signs. It wouldn't fucking matter if you did. The words not coming doesn't change a thing. The diagnosis stands. Resistance is futile. So you can sit here and stare at an empty screen, or you can force the words for the first time in your life and get it done. Perfection doesn't matter anymore. Or does it matter more than ever? <laughs> Delaying the inevitable with meaningless questions in an attempt to stall a self-imposed deadline. All in search of the perfect words. If I were the kind to believe in signs, I might be inclined to see this as one too. Though I guess the bigger question, and in turn sign, is what if I know the words but are too afraid to write them? To close this chapter? What if I've had them all along, just wasn't ready to admit it and cash out? Selling out is one thing, a damnable offense in the eyes of some, but cashing out? Well, that's something else entirely. There they are. How do you know these are the perfect ones? Perhaps it's really all subjective. For me, for this, they are perfect.
and I am done. Name, Elias Pope. Pin name, Eli Poe. Not that any of you would have heard that before. Title, Wordless Wordsmith, purveyor of plotless prose and meaningless poetry. Diagnosis, dream no longer tenable. And for that perfect touch of cliché, goodbye, cruel world. They never tell you how hard it really is.